everybody, Rick's here. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review some pencils that were sent by a viewer. And he asked that I take a look at these pencils called Picasso. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Okay, well I'm going to give a shout out to this viewer across the pond. His name is Paul Chambers and uh, thank you Paul for sending me these pencils. Uh, when he asked that I did a review of these, uh, one issue that I had was it's not easy for me to get them over here in the U.S. So he was so kind to send them over. So let's first take a look at what these pencils are. And then I'll go ahead and I'll review them and I'll compare them to my personal favorite. It's the Mitsubishi High Uni art set, as you see right here. Starting from the top, you can see here that they're all basically the same. Well, there's actually two different kinds here. So I'll, I'll pull the two different kinds here. Uh, the first ones, you can see it's got the bottom part of the pencil has this uh, kind of nice creamy blue color to it with white lettering that says Picasso as you see there. This happens to be a charcoal pencil and so uh, just beyond the halfway point here it is uh, a black color with white lettering and that is to indicate that it is a charcoal pencil. And this one here happens to be uh, of the hard variety. Variety. Anyway, and the graphite pencils, which is really the ones we're going to test, have the gray coming out here. See that? So you have this really creamy blue white lettering, and then you have the gray, and it has the black lettering. And this one here happens to be an HB pencil. So we've got one, two, let's see, three. I don't I don't think this is particularly a set, maybe it is, maybe it is, I don't know. But um, it has four graphite pencils in here. I can see hard, medium, extra soft, and soft. Not exactly in that order, of course. Okay, and then in the graphite category, we have 10B. 14B, wow, we're, we got some real soft ones here. Uh, there's a 4B, okay. Let me put that to the side here. 2B on the side here. 12B, I'm going to take these really soft ones out for, for the time being. They're not going to be very common in some pencil sets to get really this soft. So it will be interesting to look at how uh, these really soft ones compare to other soft pencils that I have in my possession. Here's a HB, and that's usually found in every drawing set. B, all right, we have 8B, and we have 6B, and we have 16, 16B. Are you kidding me? Wow, this is interesting. We have a 16B, that's really, really a soft one. And then this one here is a 10B. I have one of those, and a 12B, I do have one of those. And a 14, wow, these are really listed as very soft pencils. This is going to be an interesting uh, review here on those. And this one is an H. Okay, so let's just say in a basic pencil set, you would have, you know, your HB, your 6B, 2B, or not 2B. Let's see, here's H. I get this in some kind of a order that I'll be able to pull it up. There's H. Let me just tell you, 
The positive of the pencil, it's a handsome looking set. I like these pencils, they look nice. One of the things is um, I didn't receive any of the harder variety and I don't know if there are harder Picassos. I can only review what I have. So in this case, everything here is from the mid tone all the way to the very soft tone, all right? We don't really have the, the, the H category except for the H itself, which is right there. The other thing I noticed about this particular pencil that I would like to be uh, improved on, and I can show you by grabbing one of my, one of my uh, high unis, high unis, is if you'll notice the high uni, this is a 2B, you'll notice that the 2B that's on there, you can see it's it's showing on just about every flat surface and there's you know six flat surface I believe on a hexagon pencil here so you got 2B listed all the way around makes it when you roll your pencil on the table it's easy to see what it is unfortunately the Picasso pencil does not have that so like here, I would have no idea what any of these pencils are. So if I want, I want a 4B pencil while I'm drawing. Now I could be drawing, or I could be spending my time going, hmm, okay, uh-huh, what, which one's that one? Okay, because they chose to put these little designs on here and stuff, and it's a circular pencil, so you know they're gonna roll off the table really easy. They don't have, they don't have those, six sides that keeps your pencil from rolling which is what I prefer uh, so they're round and so if you're gonna draw for example and you're on a drafting table well you know that you better not be leaving this pencil sitting on there because it's just going to roll off okay I have to tell you the the good and the bad that's the whole point of review so um, just saying. All right. So anyway, I like the look. They look nice. They're clean. Uh, I don't have anything against round pencils except for what I just mentioned. You know, the fact that they will tend to roll off your desk a whole lot easier than these other uh, drawing pencils like the High Uni or the Stadler Lumographs. So anyway, those are something that you want to consider uh, for a drawing set. What I do like about this set is that it has quite a range of soft pencils. I find this very interesting that they go so high. They go all the way up to 16B. It will also be interesting to see how well they sharpen without the tip breaking when you get all the way up there in the high uh, B levels. Okay, so we'll test that as I'm going to sharpen every one of these pencils here so that we can get right into the uh, testing. All right, so let's go ahead and play that background music as I sharpen.
this one here, the, the 10B, I can tell you it, you have to be careful sharpening it to a tip because, to a point, because it snapped off really quick in my handheld sharpener here. I may have to use an electric. That's close enough for government work. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to tell, tell you guys that I just noticed too about this pencil is that uh, it does have the grade right on the tip, which is nice. If you happen to have a, a pencil holder that is tilted towards you like this, then it would be nice to be, because you'll be able to see the, the different grades of pencil. Take a look at like this thing that I made here. This is what I have on my drawing desk. And these are my high uni pencils right here. Then I have some charcoal. I have some blenders. And uh, here I have some Caran uh, The Swiss made pencils. It's really the very expensive ones right there. But you'll notice that these pencils I have them standing straight up and down and then I have these are pointed you know kind of an angle towards me and this would be great for you know if you have pencils like this I can see what the grade is from the tip whereas here I cannot see what these grades are but I can see what these grades are so if you have one of these pencil holders that has it at an angle uh, these Picassos it's really cool that they actually have them on the tips because uh, these high unis and the other ones that I use do not have it on the tips. So that's definitely a plus. I want to make sure I bring out the positives as well as the negatives here. Be as thorough as possible. All right. Let me continue with this sharpening here. And by the way, this sharpener here is a black wing long point sharpener. And... Uh, it's a two-step sharpener. So once I get the long point, then you have to make the, <clears throat> the point itself. So you get a long tip and then you give it a point. Let's see, it just broke that tip right off. Oh my, see? So you have to be real gentle with these. This one here is the 16B. And it is very, very soft. Very soft. So I'm going to go take it over to an electric sharpener and see if it will, if it will handle it. There's a sharpener, an AFMAT. I got several AFMAT models. And uh, this one here, I'm going to take it off of a point. So it doesn't do an actual point because this is too soft. And this is the automatic sharpener. You can look up the video on this one. But once you feed, it does it all by itself. And no break. And look at that. Very nice tip. All right. So I'm going to sharpen the rest of these using the electric. And I'm going to hang up the handheld. The handheld is really nice, you know, if you enjoy the process of sharpening, which many of us do. So, you have that option. Let me get those shavings out of the way. But this is always fun to watch. Look at that. Perfect sharpening every time. Love it. Look at that. Wow. All right. I have a video on this as well. You want to check it out. It's a pretty cool sharpener. They look like robots. Great for kids. And let's see. Let's do the charcoal pencils while we're at it.
what's so nice about this particular sharpener this is not a sharpener review video but what's really nice is even your charcoal pencils get a really nice tip without breaking using this sharpener and let's see that was the medium this one's the soft It survived it as well, even soft. Now I've got an extra soft right here. This is gonna be the real test, extra soft. Look at that, wow. Fantastic sharpener. Look at that. Okay, so now we've got all the pencils sharpened. Let's get the sharpener out of the way. It did its job. And now it's time to test these pencils out and see how I like them. And for that, I need drawing paper. Okay, nice thick drawing paper making sure I don't have more than one sheet there okay so let's start from the bottom of the scale here and I'm going to start with this HB pencil so we'll write HB right here okay and now how I like to test these pencils is the way I draw and shade and that is to lightly let the paper the pencil right across the paper I don't like to put pressure down on it, so that way we get the exact feel, shade, the whole bit. Whether it feels like butter, whether it feels like, you know, it's gritty, any of those things. So here we go. Okay, the HB pencil does have a little bit of a mild abrasive feel to it not a whole lot nothing to complain about I I wouldn't have a problem using the pencil and I understand these are very inexpensive pencils so that's also good to know but I'm just gonna lightly color shade this the best I can Now I started with the HB, I'm sure I have an H in here. See, it had it been easier for me to have seen the grades on those pencils, I would have noticed that right off the bat. So, see that was, that's one of the problems that I, I mentioned. All right, and I also like to, kind of like to go this way too, just get as much of this shading in as possible. Now, just so that I can remember how this felt using it, I'm going to immediately go over to my high uni and grab, this is HB, okay, I'm going to grab an HB, there's my HB, it's got my old ugly point on there, well, that should work just fine, here we go, this is HB, but this is high uni. Let me write uni. U and I. All right, see how that compares. Now the high uni, I mean, it's easy to tell. You can probably even hear it on the video. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, it just is a smooth pencil. Even in the HB range, it's very smooth. And I noticed that the shades, it's, they don't correspond with each other. So this is something you need to consider when you're buying a pencil is to realize that uh, does it have the shades you want? It really doesn't matter what they label on a pencil. 
as long as you know what that pencil can do you know hopefully you've worked with a pencil set long enough to be familiar with the grades the shades of the grades for that particular pencil set but you can tell that the high uni here is slightly lighter in shade than the Picasso and it's definitely smoother to my touch I can I can feel that it glides easier and so as far as the enjoyment part of drawing with a pencil set one of the things that I find to be enjoyable about a pencil set is how easy it is and how it feels for me to sit here and just shade an area for a period of time over and over just to make sure that I've got good coverage like I'm doing right now and I just want it to feel good in my hand as I'm using it so the high uni feels really good it has a nice blending feel to it the Picasso on the other hand is a much grittier feel to it. It's a little it's a little harder of a feel and I can hear it as I'm shading I can hear it much more pronounced than with the high unis and I don't personally I, I don't enjoy um, when I'm shading to to have to feel you know any kind of abrasiveness or grit or any of that it's not real pronounced or anything it's very subtle but the one thing that I noticed right off is you know there it is a different shade and I I could just feel this is much more like coarser feel to it and this feels just so much finer and slippery I like that slippery feel and if we were to blend it let me go get a q-tip so if I was to take this q-tip and Let's see how well this thing is going to blend. Okay, and then I'm going to blend outside of the rectangle square here so you can see how far you can push this. how smooth it's going to be when you're done blending all right and then I'll leave that one Picasso over there and this one will be high uni and we'll do this one So that's both of them blunt, blended and we'll let you take a close look at those two. You be a judge for yourself which you prefer. The one on the bottom, the high uni, is a little on the lighter side but they're close when they're blended and I think they're both just fine blended. They look okay to me. I 
I'm not able to discern anything negative on either one of them. So, all right, let's proceed then. So I guess the next one that we can do here, and I'm not sure I'm going to do every one of them. We'll, we'll see what happens. I might just have to speed this video up because it'll be too long. Okay, well, here's the H. It really would have been the one I should have done first, but we'll just do it now. All right, so this is the, the H pencil in the Picasso. What's surprising here is we don't have the same tactile feel as we did with the HB in the sense that it, it has less of any abrasive feel to it. It feels like it, it's going on smooth. That's my perception. I think it feels pretty good. I have to compare it to the to compare it to the um, Hayuni here to be sure. You see that I've pretty much wore that pencil down quite a bit. It needs to be sharpened. Okay, that was that was quick. Oh, let's go like over there, try this, there we go, okay, so let me try the high uni one, This is the H. Yes, it is the H. Okay, and I'm listening to this. Can you hear? See if you can hear the difference. louder <laughs> anyway so it, it's already pretty much determined here that the Picasso pencil has a a slightly louder sound to it which is tells me that it that it's you know coming up against um, more friction because when something glides like on lubrication it has less sound to it and so the graphite in the high uni for example is so much refined and soft that it tends to not be as loud off my table and paper here. And it's so clear to hear that. See, I can hear that one really loud. It's like it's right in my ear. Now, if you happen to like that sound, you know, the louder sounding pencils, and you you don't mind a little bit of, um, you know, like you're, you're on fine sandpaper with your pencil, then not a problem. It seems to, seems to come off just fine. But you all know... That I'm very partial to these high unis for a reason because they are so high quality. 
I compare everything to the Mitsubishi Hayuni. Even my pencil test in my previous videos of long ago, yes, it's been a, it's been years now, since I used to do a lot of these pencil tests, but with just applying it without the blending, see that's H, let's put my HB back. Okay, just without blending, you can see you can see how smooth the high uni in the bottom there is and, and how lighter it is than the H from the Picasso. Of course, again, you can simply come in here and blend it to give it a smoother look so you're not stuck with that coarser look, nor are you stuck with the tone being too dark. Okay, so I really love how soft looking and how well blended the High Uni is in comparison to the Picasso. The Picasso is, is not bad, but I can I can see it's a little bit on the it's less refined. Uh, it's hard to describe. You know, each artist is going to have their own personal impression of the tone of the pencil, how it feels to their hand, how it feels when it glides on the paper. So you all will have to be your own judge, but I'm giving you my perspective of these uh, pencils as best as I can. So here's the B pencil, put B up here. Okay, and let's uh, let's see, we'll see what we have here. Okay, grab the B of my high uni pencil. Give it a point. Yeah, I wish I could bring this microphone down here so you can pick up on the sounds. I'm going to be quiet now, and you try to listen for this. Yeah, this has a much higher pitch to it. Okay, and then I, when I like to shade skin, give it texture, I like to do these little circles like this with the pencil. Gives the skin more light, realistic liveliness to it. And so the pencil needs to feel really good making these little circles to my hand. And this is just so, so soft. Very soft. I love it. Okay, and then the Picasso pencil. Okay, doing the little circles, it just has that hard feeling to it. It's not as soft feeling to it. I can hear it. It's just it's the diff it's just a different feel to it altogether. And I'm noticing too as I'm doing this that I could actually see the circles, which I don't want that. I want it to blend like this. And I didn't even blend this. I just just used the pencil and let the pencil itself blend itself. But here it's you know, it's going to take me a little extra effort, and I can see the little circles, some little circles in there. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, 
I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just saying how it is to me personally. You, you may not find it to be the same for you. I can't speak for everybody. So no haters, please. But, um, again, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, I, I could draw, I can draw very good drawings with the Picasso pencils. And for the price, oh, there's no way I can complain about the price. It's, seems to be way more affordable you know make a uh, art accessible to more people especially but um it it wouldn't be my go-to pencil if if I'm if I'm given a choice and and of course with the number of pencils that I have at my disposal um I'm not personally going to go I I think I'm going to draw with the Picasso no I'm I'm going to keep drawing with the high unis and uh, they're going to end up looking like stubs like this one right here because they're the ones that I use predominantly. Probably time for me to get a new set. But yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously, it's obviously different. All right, and let's blend these out. And of course, we should expect a darker shade than the HB, because these are Bs. Blend out those little circles that I made in there. Okay. Now this is interesting. They're close, but the Mitsubishi seems a little darker than this B is. My eyes could be playing a trick on me, but you be the judge of it. Take a look. There you go. All right. Next, we should be 2B. There's the 2B, Picasso. sharp of a point and we need a 2B look at the point on that sucker wow okay 2B on the Hyunis all right so and now I would expect a 2B pencil to have a nice darker tone and to go on softer and right now that's exactly what I'm getting from the 2B pencil from Picasso. It's going on darker shade. That's nice. It's going on nice and smooth. I like that. I'm being very careful here not to not to cause it to make hard lines while I'm shading. But yeah, it's 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 pretty smooth. Okay, so they did these Picassos do tend to get smoother and it feels it feels good quality. I, I can say that the the graphite feels really really good here. I'm more impressed with it now 
that were in this 2B range. compared to the other ones. And also remember, you know, sometimes you end up with a set, depending on quality control, that just might have one or two pencils that are off. Sadly, that does happen with the inexpensive pencil sets. Now the 2B with the Mitsubishi. Okay, the best way I can describe the difference between the Mitsubishi and the Picasso is graininess. Because I can instantly see with them next to each other here is that the Picasso has a more grainier look to it than the Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi just tends to go on as if it's already blended which I really love. I'm very partial to that. It just doesn't give you that grainy look. And I'm going to hold it up to the camera here in a second so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Not only does it feel that it goes on smoother, but it just looks like to my eyes that it has a much more blended look to it a softer look, a much softer blended look than the one on the top. Now you can always improve that by blending of course and that takes the grainy look right out of the one here on the top. Blending always makes everything look smoother and more uniform. And there you go for comparison. Get this camera to stop shaking. There we go. Okay. Huh. So yeah, it has a little grainier look. Now, this, this is what starts to throw me off a little bit here. Okay, so here, here we were darker here, but then here we're lighter than here. Okay. I wish I had put those two back the way they were, but anyway. But I do appreciate that the grades are increasing. Okay, so, so far it looks really good on both, both sets here that they're increasing, gradually increasing. All right, the next one would be a 4B pencil. We're gonna get even darker here, 4B, okay. And that, of course, I was expecting it to feel softer because it's a softer pencil.
I'm just lightly drawing here, just shading. All right, I think we got all the areas covered. Okay, and then let's go with the 4B, the Mitsubishi 4B. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it like right underneath it. I, I want to start getting some closer comparisons here. Of course, it would be redundant for me to keep saying that the Mitsubishi feels really nice and smooth. I can tell you already using it that every single pencil is going to be smooth. So I don't need to have to keep repeating that each time. <clears throat> Edit that out. Okay. There's the two of those together. All right. They look like the same tone to me. You can see for yourself how they look. Okay. Now we're just getting into the darker and darker pencils. Here's the 6B. Very soft. Very soft pencil. Feels good. All right, 6B, where are you? There you are, Mitsubishi. Yes, very soft pencil. All right. Speeding up a little bit here. Let me show you this before I them. It's a pencil, it's a little There you go. Okay. And you can notice the Mitsubishi is more subtle in its changes. The Picasso, the gradual increase is very obvious. Here we have the 8B. We're getting really into the high end here. Okay. Very smooth. All right, very smooth. And the 8B, that's the 8B Mitsubishi. Okay. And I can actually hear the Mitsubishi's 8B louder than the Picasso's 8B. What a turn of events that is. All right, so let's take a look at both of those real quick. And then I'm going to blend them. They blend really nice, of course. Look at that. The Picasso, nice, rich, dark, wonderful. Okay, that is a really nice 8B pencil right there. Look at how dark that puppy is. Now I'm going to use the Mitsubishi here, do the blending here.
Okay, there's those two. And quite frankly, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the Picasso 8B. I mean, the Mitsubishi 8B is fine. But the Picasso 8B, I, I do like how dark that is. It is dark. And they're, they're pretty much the same tone. But, you know, it, it's hard for me to differentiate the two. So these have been really good here on this high end. Now, I'm not going to be comparing any more uh, of the high unis with the Picasso. But I am going to check out these other Picasso shades here because it has some really high values that like my high uni here I think what does it go up to let's see that's not a high uni so <clears throat> get my case out here it goes up to 10 that's as high as this this goes and here now I've got these other ones. Here's a here's the 10 in the Picasso. Really soft, really dark, really nice. I'm just curious as to if there's really going to be much of a difference going from 8 and 10 on up to these higher numbers here. So we'll we'll try them out and see see what's up with this okay again I don't know which is which here we go here's the 10b the 12b I mean 12b real really soft really dark you gotta be careful you can break these soft leads if you press down too hard so you never want to press down hard it's a little bit of abrasive grit filled to it, but not much. It's it's overall it's a soft it's a very soft pencil. You'll be uh, you'll be definitely sharpening this a few times. Okay, let me get this back in here. Then 14B. Can't believe I'm talking about a 14B. All right, here we go with a 14B. And you can hear it. It has it has a little more resistance to it, which is odd because these were so much softer feel to it. The question I have here is: Are we gaining any kind of depth of tone? So as why would someone need to go to a fourteen or a sixteen? You have to answer that question. Well, let's let's go to 16, and this is the last one, the 16. Okay, it's definitely so. See, we seem to be getting into the realm of of a hybrid pencil here. It feels like it feels like it may not be pure carb uh, uh, graphite. I wouldn't be surprised if they were adding charcoal to the mix it definitely has that charcoal scratchy feel to it you know so to achieve a 16 level with with graphite the other sets don't go higher than 10 maybe 12 if depending on what you get but you know 14 16 they're doing something with this pencil here they must be Okay, because it just, it looks a lot like charcoal in there, and it feels like it. And the, remember I mentioned 14 had that feel, there's that tactile feel of like a little bit of grit. Well, charcoal pencils have that feel all the time. And that's what's tipping me off, that there must be a little bit of charcoal being fed into this graphite to get these darker shades over here and let's go ahead and blend okay that blends good let's blend that let's blend that 
Now the thing about when you try to blend uh, like a hybrid pencil, it it often doesn't blend very well. It has a kind of dotty look to it, if I was to describe it. And so that's what I'm expecting to see some somewhat here. Oh boy. Yeah, there's charcoal in here for sure. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. We'll give it to you up close there. Sorry for the table shake. There we go. Okay. Now, looking at this, it goes from light to dark, darker, 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 darker. So, it does step up. They did a good job with that in the Picassos. I really like their higher range pencils here. I like how dark they get. It's really, really nice. I, I do like the fact that you have this 1416. I, I'm not sure what you need a 14 for because if you're going to go any darker than a 10 or a 12, you might as well step it up to 16. Um, maybe, sometimes this, this just makes me wonder like, what what were they thinking when they went to this in between values here you notice how we skip you know we go 2b we don't go 3 we go 4b 6b 8b <clears throat> pretty common because i do have 3b's you know i have 5b's i have 7b's i have 9b's but you almost have to wonder like why bother? Why have so many different pencils when you can actually control the, the gradual in-between shades by your blending and your adding of graphite? Okay, so there you go with that. So my overall impression of this pencil set is I think it's an excellent, excellent, yes, I'm giving it an excellent pencil set, especially for the cost. It, you know, as far as certain conveniences, I would wish that they weren't round, that instead that they had the hexagonal shape, uh, such as, you know, this one, for example, so it doesn't roll so easily. I wish that they put the numberings or the wording in multiple places at least uh, four times would be nice, two, four times, instead of just once where you have to kind of search for it. I do love the fact that they put the uh, grades right on the tip. This is actually uh, uh, interesting. Now this one here, the, the charcoal, they don't. But the graphite, they do. Now looking at this here, I'm, I'm noticing it looks like Chinese characters. Chinese characters or... Uh, I'm thinking Chinese. Okay. But hey, they're they're inexpensive pencils. That's great. I think I think they're perfectly fine for drawing. And lastly, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and shade with these charcoal pencils here real quick. Starting with, let's see, we have hard. Well, that's hard. <laughs> that is really hard. Okay, and you should be able to hear that one. That's a hard charcoal pencil right there. Give it a little bit here. All right, that's a hard. And then we want medium. Medium. You can tell these are charcoal by the feel. Okay, it's softer and darker. That's what you want. And then the next one will be soft. Okay. 
Wow, you, much louder. Much more abrasive. What you would expect for charcoal, of course. Charcoal is not normally a really soft feeling material. Well, so you can tell how the grades are really, really working there. And then here's your extra soft, E-soft. And even louder still. Once you get to soft, it's not going to be as noticeable to go to extra soft. But if you need that little extra something, 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 well, there you go. And yes, I can see that it is darker. So you are going to definitely, definitely get some serious darks out of that one right there. Okay, yeah, those definitely can see that they step up. Take a look at that. All right. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. There's my review of the Picasso drawing pencil. And for the range that I have here, they go from H up to the darker colors. None of the ones before H. We, we can't test those. We don't have those here. And I have not looked to see if they're available or not. I know that I can't get these the normal route. I, I thank Paul for sending these. I really do appreciate it. And I do want to say, though, that uh, this is definitely a, a keeper set. And I'm definitely going to get some use out of this, especially these higher end. I love the charcoals, especially the extra soft one to doing uh, really dark darks. That's exceptional. This was really good. This is a very good pencil set overall. Overall, I, I say they're very good. Yes, I, I am partial to my high unis, but they have, a, they have a limit to how dark I can go. They do create somewhat of a more subdued look. As I go to photorealism and hyperrealism, you can really use these higher contrast type sets and this Picasso is really nice I like it I think it's certainly worth the small amount of money uh, that they cost anyway if you like this review please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be informed of my upcoming videos and I thank you so much for watching until next time bye